hey loves and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this trendy ruffle sleeve you can see what i have here and it is very beautiful though this is more like an illustration i did not make this sleeve for anybody i used it to illustrate for you guys on my body this is what the sleeve looks like and for now it is not full this is not the full version if you want to do the fuller version i will tell you guys how to achieve that one but this is the process that you will follow but you can see what i have here it is very beautiful for one sleeve you will need like four yards of ankara it consumes ankara fabric a lot for one sleeve you will need four yards that is if you want to achieve a fuller version so here is my fabric i have my six yards of ankara fabric i have my crinoline this crinoline is the major thing that i'll be using and i have three inches crinoline here i have my scissors and my chalk first thing that we are going to do is to cut out two yards i want to illustrate this with two yards the sleeve you see you saw on my body i used two yards for it so you will cut out two yards i want to cut out two yards but if you want to make your own ruffle very full you will need four yards but you will cut two yards you will mark then you cut out another two yards and mark as well i don't know if you understand you will mark your flounce on one on two yards then you cut out another two yards and repeat the same thing so here is my two yards and i have folded it into two one will serve as the main fabric one as the main lining the first thing is to find the midpoint of this ankara fabric i have folded the two yards the full length of this ankara the vertical length is 45 inches the midpoint will be 22.5 so i marked my 22.5 then horizontally we'll find the midpoint as well i have 34 inches here i will find the midpoint the midpoint of 34 is 17 34 divided by 2 is 17 so i'll mark my 17 and that is the midpoint you can see what i have right there that is the midpoint of this ankara fabric you measure your vertical measurement and divide by two you measure the horizontal part and divide by two so this place where the lines intersect is my midpoint then from that midpoint i'll measure two two inches round from the midpoint you measure two two inches round this is the first thing that you are going to do when cutting out your flounce so just mark two two inches round and then connect i am done marking my two two inches i will go ahead and connect the two two inches that i marked around the midpoint of that line that of those lines that i marked of, af, around the midpoint of this ankara fabric after that you will determine the full length of your flounce i want my own to be five inches plus one inch seam allowance that would be six inches if you want to make yours four or three fine but if you want your ruffles to look very full use five inches then one inch for seam allowance i have marked the six inches then from that point i will connect it back to the two inches circle that i marked before you can see i connected from these six inches back to the two inches circle that i marked before then i will start marking my six inches around that first two inches circle that i marked I don't know if you understand first of all you mark a six inches then from that six you will connect back to the two inches circle then from there you start marking your six inches i am done marking the first flounce like the first step of this flounce and i will go ahead and connect so from the first six inches i will start marking round you can see how i'm marking it round I will mark around then from there i will connect from there i will connect to the new six inches that i marked this circle will not close it will be a continuous circle you don't have to close the circle it will be a continuous circle the first circle that i closed is just that two two inches circle that i marked after that one you will not close this circle again they will be the circles will be continuous from the first one i'll mark another six inches you can see i'm marking my six inches round again 
I've gotten the first step. For the second step of this flounce, I'll mark 66 inches round again. As I am marking, I will be connecting. As you are marking, you will be connecting so that you will not get confused. You can see I'm still marking my 66 inches round. Keep marking it round. If you want yours to be 4 inches, you can make it 4 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance. That would be 5 inches. If you use anything below 4 inches, I don't think it will be nice. It will look small. If you want your flounce to be full, use from 5 inches upwards. 4 inches, 5 inches, 6 inches. So I have gotten to the end of my fabric. This is where the fabric stopped. You can curve it, but I just marked a straight line so that people will not get confused. So from this straight line that I marked now, I will start cutting out my circle. First of all, I will cut the outer part the remaining fabric around this outer circle i will cut it off so that i will not get confused you start from the outside i am cutting the outer circle first then from there you will enter the second one you can see what we have here we will enter the second one we are done cutting out the fabric around the first circle the outer circle you will enter the second one and you will follow this line until you get to that center circle you can see the smallest circle there until you get to the center circle and you cut out that center circle now we have our flounce this is our flounce you can see how beautiful it looks if you are confused please rewatch this part and you can see we have two here we have two fabric two pieces here one for the lining one for the main fabric because you will use your ankara to turn these flounce then after that you will start running your crinoline line around the outer line just follow this outer line be running your crinoline line around the outer line remember we have two pieces of ankara fabric here main lining the lining the main fabric plus this crinoline. line just go ahead and join the three Follow the outer line, just be running this screen line. If you follow that line, you will get to the center of this flounce. Just go ahead and join. So I'll go to my sewing machine and I will run this screen line from the outer to the inner. I am done. You can see I curved the outer circle. If you are drafting, you can cut curve it this way, but I cut, I made this tree so that the new the beginners can understand. You can see my crino line, I am done. The next thing that I'm going to do now is to turn this flounce. So if I open it up, you can see it looks very neat. That's why I said you should use your main fabric as your lining. If you want to combine your flounce, fine. Maybe you can use a doll face as the, line, as the lining. It will give you a different and beautiful look. I am done turning out this flounce. Then I'll go ahead and top stitch. You can see how I'm folding that crino line. Fold it to the rough side, to the lining side, and run a stitch on it. Fold it to the run, lining side and run a stitch on it. So after top stitching, it will make the ironing very easy for you. But if you want to iron without top stitching, you can do that, but it will be very hard for you to iron. But after top stitching, you can see that the ironing is very easy for me. And if you are top stitching, please use a dark thread. Use a thread that will be that will be almost invisible so that after sewing your flounce the thread do not be too noticeable so i am done and i will curve the inner flounce you can see all the ends are curved i'll go ahead and run a stitch around this open side you can see one side of the flounce is covered the other side is still open just go ahead and run a stitch so this is our normal sleeve our basic long sleeve then from the top, you determine where you want this flounce to stop at, this ruffle. I want my ruffle to stop at 12 inches. I want it to stop at 12 inches. So I have marked my 12 inches. I will fold my sleeve and also take my round sleeve measurement. Take your round sleeve measurement at this stage. Because after joining your ruffles, you will find it very hard to determine your round sleeve measurements. I will open up the sleeve and this is my flounce. Before you go ahead to join this flounce to your sleeve, first of all, mark a small circle and then 
you mark your spiral or you mark another circle that looks like a flounce remember to indicate your seam allowance you can see i've indicated my seam allowance and you go ahead and mark a circle that looks like a flounce the gap between these circles should not be more than one inch that is if you want to achieve a very full ruffle the gap between the two of them should not be more than one inch my own is two inches but make your own one inch so that you can get a very full ruffle then i'll go ahead and start sewing this flounce around the lines and as you are sewing please be pleating this flounce so that you can get that ruffles or frills effect as you are sewing around the circle be pleating that's why i said you should use four yards for one fabric you can see that i used two yards and it is not too full so use four yards and the space between your circles should not be more than one inch after doing it that way you will have a very full ruffle so i'll go ahead and i'll start sewing my ruffles around the circle so as you are joining please be pleating this is the reason why i said you should use four inches because it will consume fabric like a lot of fabric four yards at least so i'll go ahead and i'll start pleating if you don't want to pleat you can use gathers gathers is very good as well you can use gathers but for me i am pleating just take it gradually and follow the circles but remember i told you that your circles should just be one inch far from each other Right now, I am approaching the end of my flounce. You can see this is the end. But had it been I used four yards, I will have two flounce. I will have two. After exhausting the first one, I will continue with the second one. But this is just one, and the one is still looking full. You can see that this ruffle is very noticeable because I used five inches. If you use three inches, it may not be this noticeable. So after that, you can go ahead and tack some areas. If you feel that some areas are too open, you can go ahead and tack some areas or you can as well pin them. Just, note, just indicate the areas that you want to tack and then use your pin to hold them down. Use your pins to hold them down so that when you start tacking on your machine, you will not be confused. So you can see that some areas are open and I am pinning them down. After pinning, I will tack. So at the end of the day, this is what we have. I hope this is beautiful, guys. And please do not forget to subscribe and click on the like button so that more people can get to see this video. Also, follow me on Instagram at SoRichEjoma. You can also join our Telegram group. I will leave the link in the comment section. Thank you, guys, and see you all in my next video. Bye!